Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 13 on page 408. Prove that vector a minus vector b in brackets cross vector a plus vector b in brackets equals to two times vector a cross vector b is true. So step one, write down required to prove. Again, vectors a minus b cross vectors a plus b equals to 2 times vector A cross vector B. So step 1, you can start with the left hand side. So you can copy the given. And what you want to do is you can use the arrows to expand this. This is one of the three laws that are explained in the lesson. I advocate the arrows. You can use them at any given time. And when you expand this, the left hand side equals to a cross a plus a cross b minus b cross a minus b cross b. Now before we keep going, you really want to begin with the end in mind. Your ultimate goal is to show that this equals to 2 times a cross b which means if I'm focusing on the middle terms, even though there's a cross b and negative b cross a, and there's the choice of expressing it in terms of a cross b, or the choice of expressing it in terms of b cross a, since you want two times a cross b, you want to rewrite this only in terms of a cross b. So you have to apply the anti-commutative law, which means instead of writing down negative b cross a, that becomes positive a cross b. Now if you go back to the first term, a cross a is going to be a zero vector. And likewise, minus b cross b is also going to be a zero vector. Now, before I continue as a side note, in case you're thinking, I, I don't understand this, why is a cross a equal to zero? Can you tell me more? So this is more of a side lesson that I'm adding in. It's not really part of the answer. But if you think about a, and this could be any vector a in three-dimensional space, so let's say you call this a1, a2, a3, what happens is when you cross this, this will equal to, so again, a cross a, this equals to, I look at the first component, so it's going to be a2, a3, minus a2, a3. Likewise, if I look at the last component, that's going to be a1, a2, minus, let's move this a little bit beyond, a2, a1. And if I look at the middle component, this equals to a3, a1, minus a1, a3. So this is the reason why, when you work this out, that any vector, for example, a cross a, will give you 0, 0, 0, which is basically a 0 vector. Now back to the problem. Since you know that there's 0 minus 0, you can cross that out. And just to be clear, when you think about a cross b plus a cross b, it's understood there's, that there's a 1 in front of this. So 1 plus 1, that's going to give you 2. So 2 times a cross b, which is exactly what you're looking for from the right-hand side. I hope this makes sense.